Greetings friends and fellow cigar bars, guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and this video is geared towards those guys who are participating in the great CBG Builder Swap Off. Uh, there's a, a group on Facebook that is a bunch of cigar bars, guitar builders and it's like Secret Santa, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you pick, pick names and stuff like that and so you're building for somebody. Uh, secret. This this video is not about the build or anything like that. It's actually about the shipping of that. Uh, the reason being is because I was I was uh, I went to that group that that um, great CBG builder swap off group. I went to that group on on Facebook and I saw there was a question on how to package these things or something. There was an old video of me, dude, and I was like cringing. I was like, oh my gosh, I was uh, I was so young and immature in that video. So, so anyhow. Um, all that to say, I have to also confess, not only do I um, hoard uh, cigar boxes, but I also hoard packing materials. If you hoard packing materials, you'll know what I'm saying here because um, you, can't, you can't help yourself. You know, once, once, you get, once you get started, you're like, okay, I, I got to say all this stuff. For example, um, the particular box that I'm actually going to be, be sending off here um, is actually a huge, a huge instrument. Hang on, let me get it real quick. I'll show you. Hang on. Those tall boxes always want to go horizontal. They don't like to be vertical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this guitar is going to its forever home. This is the, um, I don't want to call it a bass. It's kind of a, it's a baritone guitar, super long scale. I forget the, like, like 30 inches or something, 32 inches. Um, yeah, this is a very unique instrument. Anyhow, so it does, I don't have a box that's big enough for this thing. So um, lo and behold, in my stash of boxes that I've been hoarding, um, this one here is going to be absolutely perfect. So, yeah, this is I could I could actually I could actually modify it down a little bit. It doesn't matter. Um, the point is, you got to start off with a good box. Now, I uh, I actually have a company in town that I have like a, a order with or a, an account or whatever, and so I always order these guys kind of in bulk, like in 25 at a time, whatever, and get, get a discount and stuff. And, um, and I don't know if, if that's universal information. I don't know. I have no idea if, if you guys can figure it out from that. Um, anyhow, I, I, call, I call the box co company, and I tell them, okay, I, get, I need 25 more boxes, and then I just go pick them up. Here's the size right here. 36 by 10 by 6. Now, that's certainly... Now, you could probably get them thicker walled. These are the... Uh, um, there's two two walls and a curly in the middle, so it's it's uh, corrugated. I don't know what you call it. I don't know what you call it, but but these box here, you can fold fold these guys down on it on either side. So that's different than this one. Whereas this one, I'm open from here, so I'm gonna have to top insert this guy. So it's a different style of packing. This one, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that right there. Get in my face. Packing materials. Okay. Guys, you can use anything you want for packing materials. S seriously, um, you can, you can, so number one, just save these things, you know what I'm saying? You get a mailer, well, it's, got, it's already got the bubble wrap and everything, so you could actually use this quite efficiently, just fold it up and, it, and it'll be a perfect size for something. So, so yeah, so I use these. Um, I mean, my gosh, what, what else are you gonna do? Uh, obviously recycle them, whatever, or throw them away. I, I, uh, since this, is, this, since this is the ultimate reuse program from building and playing and rules and, you know, store about this, whatever, packing materials fall into that category. So you can get all fancy dancy, um, popcorn-y, you get Cheetos, right? A bag of Cheetos. And, uh. Dude, can you imagine getting your guitar and it's packed in Cheetos? <laughs> I know some of you guys are going to do that. Okay. Yeah, so popcorn, baggies, or you can get them just individuals, whatever. That's cool, too. Just a, a regular, old-fashioned newspaper. Back, back in my day, we used to like have to read the ads in the back of the, of the newspaper, right? You read the comics and stuff like that, and, and uh, you actually had to read. You know, this generation is like this, dude. So newspapers are, I use I use newspapers more than anything else, just because 
because I get them for free. That's why I get them at the, the output of the, of the grocery store. Usually that stacks these things. I'm the guy that walks in, make sure no one's looking at it. So yeah, grab a handful, like, you know, 10 inches big and just like walk out like, yeah, I'm going to use these things. Thank you very much. Newspapers. Now this stuff here, this is gold right here. Uh, little, the little bubble wraps, whatever. It's sitting outside so it's dripping wet. Need to let it dry. Um, yeah, so yeah, obviously this is self-explanatory. Um, huh. I got a long plastic bag, man. So, oh, this is that's, this this end is tight. So I guess it's this side is the open side. So yep, yep. Big old plastic sock. Put that over the neck if I want to keep it dry or just you know airtight, whatever. So that's a that's a that's a keeper right there. You might want to hang on to that one there. Um, if you got like old boxes, cardboard, whatever, like that, sometimes you can just like do a custom cut, like fill in some gaps like that. So cardboard's also important. Never throw away the packaging material. When they send you a package, they're sending you a pack, bunch of packaging material. So, I mean, seriously, this stuff here is just, who knows what, I don't remember what was in this box. There's more packing material in this box and there was, it was probably like a little tiny little thing packed in a big old thing. So, yeah, take advantage of that. Um, oh, yeah, guys, this is cool. So I have a couple of these laying around. Yeah, I got a couple of them here. Um, I have no idea where I got these things, where I got them. And I think there's only two of them. Yeah, one here and one here. But basically, it's like a big old plastic sack. Dude, it's like, a, it's like uh, what do you call it? A hot air balloon, man. Seriously, you can get the thing all full. Um, yeah, dude. I, I, I could, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap that guitar in this because, well, first I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna play it first before I wrap it up. Um, yeah, that's the rule, dude. Whenever I sell a, a guitar, dude, I have, to, I have to give it one good, one good play out the door just to kind of send it on its way. So anyhow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jam that thing up before I pack this up. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this bag here, this big old transparent bag. Yeah, this would be awesome. Take it camping, dude. You could it use as a tent. Um, let's see what else. More of the same. Oh, I got the big. Uh, this is just bigger, bigger bubbles. Bigger bubbles, uh, smaller. Yeah, I'll probably use this too. Not like this is the right size. You know, it's the right size for that box. I got big bubbles. Bigger bubbles. Um, yeah, so, so whatever you can beg, borrow, and steal, and invent, whatever, doesn't matter. I mean, the bottom line is, is you want it to be snug inside the box. Yeah. So pack your boxes so that if an accident happens, everything's going to still be cool, right? Here's the deal. You probably got all this packing material for free, so give all that packing material to somebody else for free. And then they can use it to, you know, see, see what I'm saying? Pa packaging material should be used and reused 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 and reused, right? Until, until when? Until the rapture. <laughs> so, that's it. All right, let me, uh, let me throw a jam, 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 jam. So I measure this out, and this is a 30... A 30 inch scale instrument. I'm tuned C, G, C. And these are the thick strings. These are like the top strings of a normal guitar set. But for some reason, for the cigar box guitar, they make it feel extra lower. So it definitely feels low.
So here's the deal, man. And I'm thoroughly convinced that each instrument is gonna tell you how it wants to be played, right? You pick it up and you try to play something fancy, it's like, and the guitar is like, I don't wanna play nothing fancy. And you you play something uh, country or whatever, it's like, nope. So you play something heavy and, and the guitar goes, that's where I wanna be, right there. Plug this thing in. Plug it into the box mini. <laughs> Can you play the blues?
You play for hours, man. Seriously. Little drummer's cool. And even when you roll off the gain, try to clean it up, still growls. <laughs> show you this easy lick and then I'm gonna show you to make it sound weird. So it's just open, three, two, open, seven, six, open, six, five, open, five, four, open, four, three, then you repeat. Instead of doing both notes on this string here, we're going to only do one note here and then the other note on the octave. So if I'm going to go, I'm going to catch this note up here. So it's going to sound like this one. Instead of going, I'm going to go. And the same for all of these notes. So it sounds like this. Since this instrument is, that's 36, so 37, 38, let's say 40 inches. We're just going to round it to 40 inches. And this box here is, let's see, that's 36, 36 plus 16. Quick, what's 36 plus 16? So what I'm going to do is divide it so that the 40 inches is right in the middle. So I'm going to pack it at the bottom and then leave myself on the top and then just pack in so there's no shimmy side to side. But since I can't do math, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the instrument and put it right on top of the box and center it. Center it pretty good and then just mark with pencil real lightly. There. There. So now I know how deep, how deep to pack all the material at the bottom. That's what I'm going to do now. Oh, I missed a second. I yeah, missed a second. How about one of these? Yeah, this one of these is perfect. Perfect. So yeah, so paper. I uh, even said newspaper, right? All this information is outdated anyway. Okay, so that should be good. So let's uh, let's start tamping it down. Right there. 
so I'm gonna go out right here. Um, yeah, that's where the markers are. So, there you go, let me pack it down just a little bit more. It's pretty good. All right. Hey guys, it's fun. It should be fun. You should be having fun packing your guitar. So we're in the bag. And then the first thing I did is I wrapped this thing with this uh, styrofoam belt. And then we wrapped it with one, two bubble wraps, a large one and a smaller, smaller style bubble. And then I got a big one and wrapped it over the neck and then tied it off here. So yes, yeah, so we are overkill. So I can take it up a little better, cover those shoulders, right? And then uh, maybe the, the bottom corners as well. And then see if it'll fit in the, fit in the box. <laughs> the moment of truth. Will it fit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, dude. Make sure nothing gets folded. Make sure it goes in nice and sweet. Okay, yeah. That's what you want. Tight fit. There it goes. Oh yeah, dude. Snug as a rug and a bug. So guys, do any of you all have a pet peeve? Or am I the only one with a pet peeve? You wanna see my pet peeve? Well are you my pet peeve? Roll on, cat. So, so this is my pet peeve. And I've never seen anybody else do it, so I'm not like criticizing anybody. I've seen myself do it, and I think, what the heck are you doing? So here's my pet peeve. You know these, these silver corners here? You can get your very own silver corner, corners at cbgitty.com, affiliate link in the video description below, promo code, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyhow, so they come with three holes in them. One, two, three, right? One for each side. And this is my pet peeve. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I get lazy and I do the big one on the top and I don't do the other two. Now, why is that such a big deal? I have no idea. It really, it doesn't matter. It's just, I think it's just one of those attention to detail things. Now, this one here, I put all of the screws in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but each one of those holes, one, two, three i'll have a screw in it that's the way it should be yes no no yes no <laughs> all right so yeah so, so 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 guys resist the temptation to do that go the extra mile what's it going to cost you a penny so that's my little pet peeve. Take it for what it is. Oh yeah, here's the other thing too. I got these bullet things from the CB Giddy. And dude, these things are sharp. So, so I can't in conscience recommend these things here because these things are sharp, 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 sharp. I mean, not, not only just sharp here, but the edges are sharp too. And, and you know, they're, 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 yeah, so these, you, could, you could throw that, you could throw that at somebody, right? Put a whipping on them. So I put it on here, right? And so, yeah, it's, it's like, you can, you can feel that there, just every one of those corners, you can feel it. So, and I'm afraid if I filed it down, maybe it would have been sharper. I don't know. So, uh, I don't know. Can't recommend those to y'all. I mean, unless, unless you want a weapon of mass destruction, dude. If you want a weapon of mass destruction, dude, and by all means, you know, this, this thing here can, uh, so get it done, man. And then if you have two of them, seriously, dude.
pasties. Woo! All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you did enjoy it. Um, again, you know, uh, shout out to all the guys at the great CVG Builder Swap Off on Facebook. You guys are a awesome community. Seriously, you guys are you know, great idea, great idea, and a lot of a lot of creative ideas and generosity and just uh, support, a lot of support. That's what the community should be all about, dude. It's not a competition, dude. It's it's about love, encouragement, support, right? You know, I mean, and that's what I feel from the cigar box guitar community. So anyhow, guys, I am, I am uh, proud to be amongst the great ones, the great CBG builder. That's you guys. That's you. You are the great CBG builder right there, right there. All right, guys, take care. God bless. We will see you in the next video. Cheers.